good day to all of you now what you will be learning is open office software with this software you can make your work on computers easier do you know what is software software is a program through which you are able to work on the computer we can divide all available software into two parts system software this is the software which makes a computer user or programmer makes when he is working on windows on the computer application software these are those softwares which a user installs on his computer to use as per their daily needs or we can simply say that software is such a program which we cannot touch however we can see the program and make use of it do you know what is openoffice.org open office is a software which you can use on any computer because it is free of cost so you don't have to pay and buy the software and can download it from the internet absolutely free of cost open office software has been built by apache foundation by now you must be wondering what is open office used for you can use open office for work that you are doing on your computer for making things like making documents creating presentations projects maintaining data for school or office etc open office is very similar to ms office do you know what are the components of ms office as you may already know ms office has many components like ms word ms powerpoint ms excel etc similarly open office also has many components which are text document which we call writer this is like ms word presentation which is also called impress this is just like ms powerpoint spreadsheet which we call calc this is like ms excel let us now begin learning open office go ahead and power on your computers can you tell what is the proper method of powering on a laptop or a notebook computer if you are using a laptop or a notebook computer then while with your left hand you hold down the lower portion with your right hand you pull up the top portion as is being shown in the video now to power it on look for the power button and press it once your laptop will start powering up as is being shown in the video can you tell what is the difference between a mouse and a touchpad we use the mouse with desktop computers and the touchpad with laptop or notebook computers can you tell how many buttons are there on a mouse the mouse has 3 buttons we use the left button to open a file or a folder we use the right button to select an option in a file or a folder using the third button the scroll button you can scroll the page up or down can you say why we use the mouse or touchpad we use the mouse or touchpad to take a pointer 
from one place to another on the computer screen. What we will learn in today's class is what is text document or writer? What are the features of text document or writer? What are the differences between MS Office Word and Open Office Writer? How do we open Writer? We will also learn about the documents in Writer and about the use of keyboard. We will also learn how we write in Writer from the keyboard. What are the differences between Delete and Backspace keys? We will also know about the arrow keys. Then, we will also get to know how and for what are the caps lock button and the shift button used. Do you know what is writer? In open office, writer contains text documents and it is used for work in offices, schools, homes, metro stations, railway stations and many other places. It helps us in writing things about what we want to note down and be able to recall in the future. The main features of Writer are Writer is a text document in which we can type anything we like. Using Writer, besides typing, we can also make pictures, tables and charts. We can convert our document into PDF files directly. You will learn later about what PDF is. Let us now learn what are the differences between Open Office Writer and MS Word. We use MS Word and Open Office Writer for the same work. Just as we use MS Word, for making documents, typing text and formatting it, merging text, etc. We use Open Office Writer also for the same tasks. Let us learn how we open writer files. The method of opening writer files is different in Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. You would be using one of these Windows versions. Right now, you will learn about how to open Writer files in Windows 7. Later, you will watch a video to learn how to open Writer files in Windows 8 and Windows 10. You can open a Writer file in different ways. One is a stepwise method and the other is the shortcut command method. First, you will learn the stepwise method. So, let us now watch the video and learn how to open the file. First, take your pointer to the start button and press once the left button on your touchpad or mouse. A box will appear and you need to click on the All Programs option with your left button. Next, look for the Open Office option and click on it with the left button of your mouse or touchpad. Then, click on the Open Office Writer with the left button which will open the writer file. Have you all been able to open the writer file or no? If not, then you should watch the video again. Let us now look at the writer page and try to understand some of its important components. Look at the picture being shown to you. This is a picture of an open office page. 
you can see in this picture that on this page some lines have been drawn and their names are shown. Let us learn about them. If you look at the top of the writer page where you can see an arrow like symbol, you can also see the words untitled one, open office writer written there. This is called the title bar. The title bar tells us the file's name, the component's name and also the name of the software. For example, if we look here, it says untitled one, which shows that this file is not yet saved. Had this file been saved, we would see the name of that file here. Also, written here are the words openoffice.org, which is the name of the software. In the end, you also see writer is written. This is the name of the component of OpenOffice which we are using. The next picture is telling us about the Mino bar. Do you know what is a Mino bar? Mino bar is the most important part of writer. It is from here that we get to do all our work related to the file like formatting text, merging documents or saving files etc. The Mino bar contains all these options. The Mino bar has the options for file, edit, view, insert, format, table, tools window and help. You would be able to see small pictures below the Mino bar. These symbols are known by different names, but we call all of them collectively as standard toolbar. Do you know what is a standard toolbar? Standard toolbar is a shortcut method by which a user, as per his requirements, can modify it himself and you can use those options directly from there. Look at this given picture carefully. Just below the standard toolbar, you see B, I, U, color, etc. This is called the formatting toolbar. Do you know what is formatting? On any selected paragraph or line, any changes that you make, like changing the style of writing a word or changing its size or changing the color of a word or highlighting a word. All these kinds of changes being made on a line or any paragraph are collectively called formatting. Using the formatting bar, we can change the writing style Make the letters bigger or smaller or bold. We can write the words in italics, underline the written text, change the color of the text or even the color of the background. Now we will use the keyboard to type in the writer file. All of you look at your keyboards. There are many keys and buttons like the alphabet keys, number keys, enter button, etc. We use these keys and buttons for different kinds of tasks. Can you tell why we use alphabet keys? Using the alphabet keys, you can type anything in the writer file like someone's name, a place's name, the spelling of a word, etc. Can you tell why we use the number keys? Using the number keys, you can type numbers. Number keys are also called digit keys. Can you tell which special keys are there in a keyboard? If we leave aside the alphabet keys 
and the number keys. All other keys on the keyboard are special keys or function keys. Function keys are from F1 to F12. Can you tell why we use the space bar button or key? Space bar is used to give space between words. And this is the largest key on the keyboard. Can you tell what is the backspace button used for? The backspace button is used to erase a word. But you can only erase the word on the left side of the cursor using backspace. Can you tell why we use the delete button? Using the delete button, you can delete any file. But while typing, you can also use the delete button to erase the word on the right side of the cursor. Do you know what the enter button is used for? We use the enter button to go to a new line or you may also use the enter button to give space between paragraphs and start typing from a new line or paragraph. Next, what are the arrow keys used for? Arrow keys help us to take the cursor up, down, right or left on a page as per our requirement. And as you would have noticed, for this purpose, the arrow keys are of four types. Left, right, up and down. So let us now type in the writer file. Before you start typing, look at your keyboard for some time because although you will not be able to remember where the keys are located, you will get familiarized by their location and this will help you while you are typing text in the writer file. By looking at the picture shown to you, type the alphabets. While typing, if you make a mistake, you can use backspace or delete button depending on where the cursor is located. Let us now watch the video and see how we can type, look at the keyboard, find out where the alphabets are and start typing. So look for A, press the A key and you will find A will appear on your writer sheet. Next, look for B and type that. Like this, get familiarized with the keyboard and keep typing the alphabets. So after H, we are typing I. Like this, keep typing, looking for all the alphabets on the keyboard and keep typing. After M, we will type N, then O, P, so this way you can type on your text document or the writer sheet by using the keyboard. W, X. At the end, you have to press the enter key to go to a new line. After this, type out numbers. You have to press the enter key to go to a new line. Now let's see how we will type numbers. So to type numbers, you can see on the top of the keyboard, the number keys are there. So you can type 0, then 1, 2, 3. Typing numbers, you will find very easy. So after you have typed 9, once again you will press the enter key to go to a new line. 
and using the space bar button type out our names. Let us also now learn the use of the space bar key. So let's type our name my then we'll give a space by pressing the space bar key which is the biggest key on your keyboard and then you type name my name and then again we press the space bar key to give a space is then again the space bar key to give space computer shiksha similarly you can type your own name here so to go to the next line you will press the enter key now using arrow keys you will learn the usage of backspace and delete buttons. Let us now watch the video and learn the use of the arrow keys and see what happens with the delete and the backspace button. So first of all, notice that the cursor is at the end of your line. Bring the cursor to the middle of the line by using the left arrow key like this as is being shown in the video now if you press the backspace key once the letter p gets disappeared and if you keep pressing it the other letters which are on the left of the cursor keep getting erased if you press the delete key the letters on the right side of the cursor get deleted so this is how you can use the backspace or the delete button to erase letters on the left or the right of the cursor. Let us now learn to use the caps lock button. Look at the caps lock button in the picture being shown and locate it in your keyboard. By using this button, we can type our alphabets in capital letters meaning in large letters. If you want to type all your words or text in capital letters which are large letters then you just need to press this button once. Now whatever alphabets you type will appear in capital letters in your writer file. Then when you once again want to type in small letters just press the caps lock button once again. Let us now learn with the help of the video how we can use the caps lock button on the keyboard to type in capital letters. When you press the caps lock button once and start typing, you will see capital letters appearing on your writer sheet. Watch in the video, we have pressed the caps lock button once and now we are typing a, B, C. You can see that we are also pressing the space bar in between the alphabets. So this way you can keep typing one by one and you can type all the alphabets. Remember that if you want to start typing once again in small letters, you will again press the caps lock button once and your writing or typing will become in small letters again. Now we will learn about the shift button and understand for what all work we use the shift button. You can use the shift button with alphabets and number keys. If you keep the shift key pressed with the finger of your left hand and then one by one type out the alphabets then your alphabets will get typed in capital letters. Remember that if you have pressed caps lock once, then even if you type any alphabets while keeping the shift key pressed, you will only be able to type in small letters. In such a case, you will need to press the caps lock key once again and then when you type alphabets with shift key pressed, you will be able to type alphabets in capital letters. Let us watch this video and learn how we can type 
in capital using the shift key. To use this, you have to keep the shift key pressed with one hand and then you can type the alphabets as usual. So after pressing the shift key with a finger of your left hand, you are typing A, B, C, D. Like this, you are getting all the alphabets in capital letters. If you are facing any problem in typing, you can ask for help from your teachers. You can also use the shift key to type symbols which we will learn later. If you type the number buttons while keeping the shift button pressed, then you will see that the symbols which are shown above the numbers on the number keys will get typed on your writer page. There are many more keys on the keyboard which have some symbols on top of them. Go ahead, find them on the keyboard and type them. Let us now watch this video and learn how we can use the shift key to type the symbols. Keep the shift key pressed with one hand and then type the number keys. Press on the number keys. You will see that while we keep the shift key pressed and press the number keys, the symbols get typed on our writer sheet. This is being shown to you in the video also. So after as when we keep typing on the numbers while the shift key is pressed, you see that the symbols get typed on the writer sheet. Now go ahead and close your file since this lesson for today ends here. You will close the writer file in the same way as you have been closing the MS Paint file. All of you take your pointer to the X or the cross sign on the top right of your screen and click once with the left button of your mouse or touchpad. A box appears on the screen which shows you three options. Save, Discard or Cancel. Since we do not want to save this file, you should click on the Discard option and your file will get closed without saving. Now, all of you shut down your computer properly. If you still have any problems, with the shutdown method, please watch the video and learn. Let us now learn how to shut down your computer. Bring your pointer to the start button as is being shown in the video. Next, use your mouse or touchpad to click on the left button. A box appears and you have to look for the shutdown option and take your pointer there. Then. Using your mouse or touchpad, click with the left button and this will make your computer shut down. In today's class, we learned what is writer, what are the various features of writer, we learned about the differences in Open Office Writer and MS Office Word, we also learned about how we open writer and about the documents in Writer. We learnt about the keyboard. We have also seen how we write using the keyboard in the Writer. What are the differences between Delete and Backspace? We learnt about the arrow keys, about how and for what we use the caps lock and shift buttons. Thank you.